All right, another question uh, for one of the YouTube supporters out there. Asked me two questions. One of them was, should you follow your dreams? Now my response is gonna be an honest, real response, unique response, and it's not really gonna be, you know, necessarily in line with a lot of the stuff that people are used to. But in my eyes, like, straightforward, I don't think people should follow their dreams. I think that is It's like it's following a fantasy. It's following something that doesn't exist, and it 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 leads towards suffering, endless suffering. My teachings, which go a lot along the lines with Buddha, is like, and meditation is like enjoying the present moment, not chasing fantasies, not chasing dreams, but just enjoying where you're at right now and that happens immediately as soon as you come to realization that the beauty is right here right now the problem with following dreams is that your dreams could be something literally that's unattainable and it really depends on how exotic your dreams are to dictate or determine if you should follow it. But if it's a simple dream, then hey, no problem, go ahead, follow it. If your dream is, hey, you know, I wish I could breathe another day, then hey, you know, that's a good dream to follow because chances are you probably will breathe another day. If your dream is, hey, you know, I hope to eat a banana tomorrow, that's my dream, then hey, you know, Go ahead and follow it, because that dream is not too difficult to achieve. But if your dream is just something that's just completely outrageous, then I say it's a very bad idea to follow that dream, because you're going to live your entire life chasing after something that you're never going to get. And you're just going to be in suffering the entire time. You know, so... Say your dream is, you know, I want to be richer than Bill Gates one day. I mean, that dream is just unrealistic. It's not intelligent to chase after something like that. You know, your dream is, oh, I want to win the lottery. It's just not realistic. You know, I'm about reality. I'm about realism. I'm about, like, why do you want to be richer than Bill Gates. What do you think money will provide for you? Or an excess of money will provide for you? What do you think winning the lottery will provide for you? What ultimately are you looking for? Pieces of paper? Currency? Are you looking for comfort? Are you looking for happiness? Are you looking for peace? Are you looking for new technologies? Like, what is it that you want? I'm about attacking the root cause of where these dreams are coming from and destroying the roots. So then you have no longer, you no longer have dreams. You simply are in the moment with no thoughts and you're just enjoying the moment for what it is. Like it's a beautiful day and rather than enjoying the beautiful day and the stars and the moon and the sky and the fresh air and the time that you have with your family, you're busy dreaming about what you want in the future. You're busy chasing after things mentally. You're not even being present. You're not enjoying life. You're busy thinking about retirement. You're busy thinking about the future. Dreams are all about thinking about the future. And I'm about the present. I'm not about the future. Meditation is about being in the present moment. 
Dreams are trapping your mind in the future of which does not exist. And that to me is not the way towards true happiness and bliss and peace. You know, so I don't recommend chasing dreams at all. And sometimes people dream about things that are illegal. Some people could be like, well, my dream is to smoke cocaine for, for my entire life. Well, good luck chasing that dream because chances are that's going to lead to an immense amount of misery because your dream is illegal. Some people would dream some some people would dream that they could be intimate with they could be intimate with little children. And that dream is illegal. There's a lot of people out there like that actually. You know, they, they call them pedophiles, what are they what do they call them? But if that was not illegal, I'm telling you, millions of men would be headed towards that dream. And but it's illegal. And then there's people out there that could dream. I wish this was legal. But it's not legal. And having that type of dream is a dangerous dream because it's not legal it's illegal you need to drop that dream you know or it could even be a legal dream it could be somebody that's 90 years old and wishes that he could marry a woman that's 18 okay it's not illegal but it's a dream that's just so far from reality that this person is just gonna be living in misery because he's chasing after something that really will never be achieved. And even if it is achieved for some magical way, it will not automatically, indefinitely lead towards happiness. You know, the richest people in this world are not never guaranteed to be happy. And you could have, a man could have as many women as he wants, but it will not lead to automatic, indefinite happiness. So you could dream all you want, but none of these dreams will lead towards true happiness and peace. The true happiness and peace comes from within and being in the present moment. You can never achieve true happiness and bliss living in the in the mind because the mind the nature of the mind is to always want more than what it has that's the nature of the mind so the, the mind will never allow you peace the only way that you can come to peace is when you drop the mind so somebody like even Donald Trump multi-billionaire but he's still not happy because if he was happy, he would stop chasing after more. He still wants more money. He still wants more women. He still wants more power. And it will be a never ending search for money, fame, power, women. It will be never ending. He'll never be satisfied because he'll be constantly chasing after more. So, the way towards meditation, the way towards peace is dropping this mind. Allowing yourself to be happy and at peace right now. And if you are to chase after anything, no matter it be a dream or a goal or whatever, It is intelligent to understand that it's just a game to not take it too seriously. Other thing is, it's intelligent to, to dream with reasonable, reasonable dreams. I dream that tomorrow that I'm gonna make five dollars. That's reasonable. Yeah. But to dream, oh you know, tomorrow 
I want to make five billion dollars within 24 hours. That's not a reasonable dream. You know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of the literature, a lot of the media, a lot of the propaganda out there is designed to lead you further and further from the truth. Everybody out there, almost every single famous person out there is telling you, don't give up on your dreams, chase after your dreams, it could happen, blah 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 blah, it's just a bunch of propaganda being used to keep you trapped in the system. keep you trapped in your mind they never want you to be at peace never no. they want you endlessly to chase after your dreams because that's what's going to generate income for everybody the economy and all that now these teachings of what I'm saying, they are dangerous because sometimes people just drop out of it altogether and they lose motivation for everything. I'm not saying to do that, but I'm saying to just be conscious. Be conscious about what your dreams are. Like wake up within the dream to realize that it's a dream, realize that it's false. realize what you're doing know and understand the mind know what meditation is practice meditation observe this mind Dive deeper within yourself to the roots of your being and find out what you are truly, truly seeking for. Don't get lost in the outside without discovering the inside first. Once you discover the inside, you discover the truth within, then you can't be distorted from the outside. But if you don't know the truth within, you can easily be, dis be distorted from the outside and you'll be lost, potentially for your entire life chasing after something that doesn't even exist and that's a terrible way to live you know but these teachings go deep and there's different stages of development It's like you need to engage in the game while knowing it's a game rather than engaging in the game thinking that it's reality. I'm not saying to drop out of the game altogether and become a hermit. I'm saying to engage in the game knowing that it's a game and don't take it too seriously. Know that it's a game and know what is reality and find peace within within this world while you're engaged don't run away from society don't become a hermit don't rebel against everything
but live within this world in consciousness. Be awake while most of everybody is asleep. You know, and that's my way of teaching others to, re to, to come at peace. Because peacefulness comes immediately upon realization. There's nothing to achieve when you drop the mind. When you drop the mind, then that's how you find the peace immediately. You don't need to plan out your entire life. Well, I need to be this rich to be happy. I need to have this many girlfriends to be happy. I need to have this many children. My home has to be this big to be happy. I need to drive this car to be happy. I need to have this much money to be happy. Like, there's really nothing you need to be happy except for being in awareness within this present moment right now and then all of a sudden it's there the peace is just there the silence is there but it might take a lifetime to come to that realization after after years and decades of struggle But that's what I got to say about that. I say, don't chase after the dreams. I say, just stop dreaming altogether.